what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's love island episode 17 ba -ba -ba um yeah let's get into this episode a recoupling happened um when they announced it at the start i was like it's kind of perfect because all the couples are all mixed matchy at the moment and yeah things are definitely gonna change I feel like it is moving very fast, but they didn't dump anyone, which was the main thing. Tasha and Andrew's chat. She is, she's a mess. She is an absolute mess. She thinks she's lost her way, her sassiness. And she's saying because of Andrew, she's all gooey. I think she was just trying to plan her exit perfectly. Instead of Tasha shutting it down with Charlie, when he said, if I coupled up with you would you be open to get to know me she was like um that's a difficult one it's just a red flag absolute red flag um i feel like we all already know the answer to that she's definitely gonna get to know him if he was to pick her um she would not be thinking about andrew right now and obviously that's not how it went in the end is it and andrew posed the same question if he was to pick you would you get into bed with him and she said, I don't know. <laughs> That's the answer there, Andrew. I literally don't know what Andrew was doing in this whole episode. I don't know what he was doing. He's just so besotted with her and he just likes her so much that he's looking past all these red flags that we are all seeing. And yeah, I just feel sorry for him because it's not going to go well. It's not going to work. It's absolutely not going to work. And... I can't believe she had the audacity to walk off and get mad at him when they were having a conversation about her saying she wants to get to know other guys. Um, yeah, I just felt like all towards the start of the episode, she was just building her exit and escape from Andrew. Um, she's just she's just using him as comfortability until someone else comes in. The recoupling happened. Luca finally gets to be in a bed with Gemma. <laughs> I'm sure he's happy. I feel like he was really sweet. And yeah, I hope she doesn't break his heart, but that's what it looks like to me. And um, it's just, that feeling is not shaking for me. Dami finally gets to get bed with India. Like, wow, I love to see that. Um, they're super cute together and it would actually be nice to see more of them instead of the whole mess we were seeing. Jay um, picks Paige. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be a challenge. It is going to be a challenge. Um, but I feel like Jay loves challenges and that's why he did this. Um, he definitely wanted to make his intentions clear to Paige just to let her know he is being serious he does genuinely like her he's not just saying that he definitely wants to get to know her and he thinks they're gonna have a better connection and she has a jacked that's it hopefully it shouldn't matter because i think her and jacks are perfect together and they yeah i just i would love to see them grow and i'll be quite upset if she decides to go with jay um and not jacks to be honest but I do feel like she's taken a different approach to what I expected. Um, she's still on good terms with Jax um, and kissing him and all that stuff. But she's also getting to know Jay at the same time. Um, I mean, as long as she keeps it respectful and she's not snaking Jay, then I don't see a problem with it at all. But I did. I thought she was a one-man kind of get, but clearly not. She's changing her ways. Charlie picks Ekin too now. That was the biggest surprise. That was the biggest surprise. I feel like he just didn't have the guts to pick Tasha in the end. He has no balls to him. He was he came in all guns bags and basically saying, Tasha, Tasha, that's what I want. And then he ended up picking Ekin too. There's something shady going on here. I feel like he felt like she was an easy option, an easy bet. Um like Danica when she picked Luca it definitely she took a risk and it definitely didn't pay off I feel like he wanted to take calculated risks that would pay off and that's why he picked Ekin Sue. um because if he picked Tasha he wouldn't know 
it will be all up in the air. She'll be playing with him and Andrew and it would just have been too messy. Now, I don't feel like that's what Tasha wanted at all. Um, although she did the whole thank God thing, but I don't think that's what she wanted at all. I feel like when they're onto her and they really like her, she's all interested. But as soon as they decide this is not for me or they pick someone else, she's back onto Andrew. And yeah, it's just not fair on the guy. She's just picking him. Um, and yeah, he's just a fool for not seeing it. But when you like someone so much, you just ignore the red flags, apparently. Um, Andrew picking Tasha, I, f I feel like he's just falling for all the rubbish. Um, he's not even listening to his friends, Damian and Luca, who are trying to give him sense and telling him and trying to get his back and telling him the truth. Like, she is using you to settle, mate. As soon as someone comes in here and um, they pick her, <laughs> they finally pick her. Because the, the people that have been coming in, they chat her up, but they don't end up picking her. If they actually end up picking her, then she's gone, mate. Like, she's she, she hasn't found everything she's looking for. She's saying things that are untrue. She's saying she would leave with you the next minute. She's saying she's going to get to know the boy that comes in. It's Things are not adding up. It's absolutely not adding up. I feel like he didn't have a choice but to pick her, but he he shouldn't have tolerated her behaviour. I feel like he tolerated it and shook it off like it was nothing. And the way she had the audacity to say everyone shaking their head, um, it's just so rude. And having an attitude problem towards Andrew again, the guy that... <laughs> she's the offender. Um, the guy that's... And he's trying to comfort her as well, which just... It gives me a headache, absolutely gives me a headache. Davide picks Antigone. I was like, I was shocked because I thought he was going to pick Danica. But then again, he did say he wanted to kiss both of them. He hasn't got a chance to kiss Antigone yet. So he thought, let me just pick her and we can get it done. Um, but I do think that is good. Danica is just trying to find someone to save her. She just wants to be saved. Um, whereas... Antigone's a nice girl, um, they get along, they could possibly grow a connection, um, even if there wasn't an initial sort of attraction to each other. So it'll be nice to see what them lot can come up with. Jax was left a couple of with Danica, obviously, <laughs> um, he's not going to be happy, and uh, yeah, he just, he just had to sort of suck it up, to be honest. Um, I did feel sorry for Jax in this situation, but Obviously, um, it's up to Paige who she decides to pick in the end. Jay, <laughs> Jay's a thief in the night. He's a thief in the night. Um, doing a pillow talk, um, to convince her she will have to graph hard. It's gonna be hard. She's already has a connection with someone. You have to show her that you guys can have a better connection, and that is gonna be difficult. And he's gonna have to work for it if he really wants her. Tasha telling Andrew to leave her alone and not touching her when he was comforting her. I just thought that was wild. She is so entitled. I was so shook. She she she's a mess. She's an absolute mess. Instead of him to be angry at her for wanting to know every guy that comes in but he didn't want to see her upset so he's comforting her and putting his feelings aside putting her feelings above his and trying to make her feel better about the situation that she did to him and people reacting to her actions and she had the audacity to get mad at him andrew needs to wake up and definitely see that she's just not for him he deserves a lot better than what he's getting Jackson Page holding hands. I just thought that was just so cute. It warmed my heart. Um, yeah, I, I just feel like I just want them to be a couple. That's it. I want them to couple up again, and because they seem like the perfect couple. But then again, you never know in the villa. Things could change any minute. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And um, please let me know your thoughts down below. And let me know what, what you think of these people. Thank you so much for watching.